hey guys welcome to my channel my name my name is bokeh joanne and i would like to show you a couple of tricks on how you can do your crochet look much better and cleaner and neat and i'm gonna show you the two kind of stitches that i really appreciate using and the first stitch that i would like to introduce you to is the slip stitch which you are familiar with and which i know that you guys you really don't need that much of uh, effort to know how it's done and the reason why i like to use the slip stitch because i've used it a couple of times on my work and i do appreciate the way i get the finished edging my slip stitch i usually use it for closing the edges and making the edges of the afghan the edges of the sweaters or edges of anything that i want i never use another stitches or i don't use any fringes on my stuff i usually use slip stitch and another way i use the slip stitch is um on decorative purposes i usually use it if i want to have something look a little bit fancier i usually use the slip stitch so on this video that's the first stitch i'm gonna show you and i'm gonna show you on my work there is this specific stitch i don't know the name of it but i call it bokeh stitch b-o-k-e -E stitch i don't know the name of it but it's actually an extended single crochet but it's usually crocheted on a inverted v stitch and makes it look very fancy and makes your work look so reversible so let me show you a couple of stuff on my work that i've used those two stitches and how they look the first one i'm gonna show you is the cardigan that i finished a few days ago and this cardigan uh i used the slip stitch and i used the bokeh stitch as i call it or extended single crochet and the where i use it for decorative purposes you can see right here on my arms i use the decorative stitches but i use the uh, slip stitch okay and to finish on my edges on the arm i use the slip stitch okay and if you see at the bottom of my cardigan i used the slip stitch and you may be wondering uh how come which stitch i use down here i'm just gonna point out like this stitch is the same as this stitch it's the only difference that makes this one looks a little bit different is that the bottom part was closed out like i closed it all the way around uh before i started stitching it otherwise it's extended single crochet too it's the same one it's the same one as this one but it gives it a, a different texture when it's all closed around i don't know why it does that but basically that's what it is and it looks like a knitted stitch but actually it's not a knitted stitch okay so just to give you an idea i see they look a little bit different so here okay and my my cardigan is reversible however when i closed it all around at the bottom it gives it a little bit of a different look at the bottom of it but otherwise the otherwise it's all it looks very reversible and this is the reason why and this is the million times why i like to use these two particular stitches they make my work ending becomes so nice so perfect and very well well and neatly done you know i do appreciate these two stitches i've never seen anybody uh really like using them i've watched a couple of youtube videos to see if there is anything i see people use it i haven't come across somebody using these two stitches combined but i've seen people use slip stitch differently but you know i've never seen them use it and just to point out i previously did a video on how to do the um how to do the edges of the afghan using a slip stitch but the video wasn't too clear so uh just to get a reference you can use this video instead of the other one so just to give you an idea okay so and another thing i like to crochet i've been crocheting for a very long time ever since i was young i just grew up knowing how to crochet uh apparently i hear the story goes that my family has a background of weaving and basketry but i'm not sure how i really learned it but i know like you know i've grown up knowing how to crochet however i never used to do it 
quite often until I met my husband. So then, you know, I started picking it up. So nowadays I just do it and it's part of me right now. So, and when I do it, I usually do with the two to three to 10 kinds of yarn on the same, um, on the same project. Sometimes I like to use tapestry. So I use all my work as a tapestry. I do crochet, but however, I can use one yarn, but I don't prefer using one yarn. I like colors. So this is my finished, I think, uh, I'm sorry, this is my finished cardigan. I have some more in there. By request, I will show you a video of them, but for now, I just keep them in there for now. So I wouldn't show them to you until maybe, if you guys wanna see them, just let me know and I will post the all my projects for you to see. But this is uh, the one I just finished recently and I'm still working on some more cardigans. So this was my kind of third cardigan that I've worked on. So the next project that I'm going to show you and the reason why I'm showing you these two projects is because, because one of them, one is the cardigan and the other one is the F again. So as you can see, this is the F again, and the stitch is the same one that I used over here, as you can see. And if you see my edges, uh, I don't know whether you guys can clearly see all my edges, all this is, um, it's all, um, it's, it's a slip stitch that I used over here, and this is extended single crochet. And as you see, the Afghan is reversible, so you know it's all reversible, so you don't have to worry about the right side or the wrong side. And as I told you, I like tapestry and I create my own patterns, I draw them and then I crochet them. So, uh, I wouldn't be able to open the old Afghan so I can show it to you, but you know, you can see it's just folded, I wouldn't be able to open it, but. By request, I will go ahead and open it for you so I can take a picture of it or a video of them and then post it if you would like to see the pattern. But for now, this is what I have. And I have a, a complete pattern written on my Etsy and I'm gonna um, put the link uh, on this video at the end of it so you can follow it or you can go to my Etsy shop and see if you like to have the pattern. All right, so let's get to what I wanted to show you. What I wanted to show you is how to do the bokeh stitch or the extended single crochet stitch. And I'm going to use, um, I'm not going to use, I don't want to cut this yarn because I'm going to be using it. So I just wanted to use it uh, for demonstration purposes. So, and I'm not going to rip this one, but I wanted to use a different color yarn so you guys can see how I do it. And just for your information, I'm not going to use the red yarn for now, but maybe later I may use it, but for now I'm not going to use it. And anytime I'm changing my yarn to a different kind of yarn, I usually tuck it down the way I did this one, so I can secure it so strongly. I don't like to make knots, knots on my work. I don't make any knots on my work. And if a yarn comes with a knot, I try to cut it so I can um, do this way. So if I can see there is one, there is one knot that is on one of my work and I really didn't like it because I never cut it. I didn't cut it. So I tried to ignore it and I did ignore it, but it makes my work look so messy a little bit. But, you know, now I've learned like anytime I see the knots, I need to cut them if they come on with the yarn. So let me just show you because there is one knot that I'm seeing showing up here and I really don't like it. I really don't like the work that has a knot. Um, I can't quite get it right now. So you see right here? So see, this is a knot that came with the, the yarn and I didn't cut it. So, because I didn't cut it, you see now it's showing on the outer side of it. I'm going to try to push it to the inside, but I really don't like when not show on my work. It doesn't look neat and it doesn't come out clean. So, I usually, if I get a knot on any yarn, I usually cut it. I don't like to have it. So, this is how I try to secure my yarns. Uh, the edges of my yarns and that's how I usually live like maybe five to four inches long and I try to secure them like that See 
So you just do it around. And then when you crochet, you crochet on top of it. It's not going to show. All right. All right. So let's get to what I wanted to show you. So here, usually at the end of every row, you have two stitches left. Uh, just to point out again, on the end of every row, I usually do not use the same stitch uh, as the one that I usually use in the middle. I usually use the <clears throat> I usually use the single crochet. The reason why I use a single crochet it's because when I'm coming, if, let's say I'm going to use this side and I'm going to uh, to use my slip stitch on this side. I don't want my stitches to be too many than the stitches. So if I use a single crochet, I'm not going to add more uh, areas where I can stitch. So it only adds one stitch. So that's why I usually use the single crochet. Otherwise, you can use uh, extended single crochet just to point it out for you. So, okay. So at the end of every row, you usually you usually go ahead, turn, or chain and then turn, however you want to do it. Either turn and chain or chain and turn, uh, however you want to use it. So anyway, so I turned, then I'm going to chain one, as usual. So at the beginning of every row, I chain. At the end of every row, I single crochet. That's the rule for me. I don't know about everybody else, but that's how I do it. All right, so I chained one, and then they are um, there are two ways you can put on your stitches. You can crochet your stitches in. It's either you crochet in this space right here, right here in this space as usually as usual, like everybody usually chain on these stitches. But personally, I never, like, I never chain on these spaces. I usually chain on these inverted uh, extended single crochet or, you know, uh, extended single crochet. I usually do this way. So I usually make my stitches in between here. And this is what makes it reversible because I'm avoiding this area. Okay, so let me just go ahead and do it all the way. So in between the inverted stitch, you just go ahead and then you yarn over, you pull one, then you have two stitches left on the hook, then you pull both of them through, you pull all through. Same thing, you keep on doing it. Yarn over, pull one. Yarn over, pull one, yarn over, pull two. Okay, so it's like a half double crochet, but it's just done in a single crochet. So you do it like a twice. You see, like you pull twice, the same stitch you pull twice. So you see, you go in between right here, right here. I don't know whether you'll be able to see. Maybe on the next row, in the next color yarn, you'll be able to see. So you see right here, and then you go ahead. So see, right here. Right there, right there. And you do. The stitch is actually just like a single crochet, but you do it like a half double crochet it's the way you do it. So that's, you know, the difference. And then it will give you the reversed and it's so thick, very thick. Uh, and it gives you the your work a little bit like, you know, because right now I'm using a 5.0 uh, millimeter uh, hook or size H. And look, it like you can hardly see through the other side because it's a little bit thick okay and uh, the only downfall about uh, using this kind of stitch it may take a lot of yarn than usual but the outcome is very presentable and very nice 
So, you know, you can't beat the quality of the product. So that's all that matters sometimes. Like the quality is better than just, you know, using the regular stitches and doesn't give you good quality. And then on top of that, you can wear it reversible. It doesn't matter like how you use it. You don't have to worry about the side, you know, or where you going to place it. Like, does it look right? wrong whatever it doesn't matter you just put it on and then you head out it doesn't matter okay so um so see like as i get to the end over here when i get over here i don't crochet right here i do not what i usually do i pick up these two stitches like this corner there is this one that kind of curves over this one and then I pick up with this one. Let me show you again. This one right here. You pick that one up. This one right here. You pick that one up. And then you pick this one to this one right here. So you pick up these two stitches. Okay. It's slightly vertical. It's not kind of like really vertical, you know, with the other one. So it's just slightly it's kind of a slanting vertical see and then don't extend just single crochet and then chain turn when you turn again you don't do this space don't do this space usually the chain counts as a stitch just go ahead and do on the inverted V just go ahead inverted V just repeat the same thing you see when you repeat it i'll show you how it turns out like to the end so you know you can have a look when it's done see look so it looks like that right here and then at the bottom looks the same way oh, yeah, like that so that's how i do it okay right there so i'm just gonna go ahead and do it all the way to the corner and then i'm gonna show you also how i do my slip stitch on the edges so you guys can have like uh both the stitch and the slip stitch so how i do it on the edges of my fabrics or i'm sorry on the edges of my afghans so just go ahead and do it all the way To the end just to let you know all my <clears throat> all my afghans um that i did and all my cardigans uh let me say in simple terms like all my work except for one except for one i used these kind of stitches the only one that i didn't use this stitch is the actually except two um there is one that i used the wayne stitch wayne scott stitch which is uh in the one that i used single crochet uh inverted single crochet only one blanket and then there is another one i used a totally different stitch maybe i will eventually show it to you too if you like it in both of them they are reversible too so i will show you the two too but for now most of my work is with this stitch and i'm really satisfied oh even for those who like to do the granny square uh, let me just mention it if you want to do your granny squares please you can go ahead and use the same pattern you don't need to use the extended single crochet that gives you the right and wrong side no i prefer this stitch and i can't recommend it more you know for anybody who is using a granny square if you want to make a washcloth you want to make anything dish dish cloth use it you know so you can use it even for um the little uh granny squares okay here you go at the corner right here just pick this stitch right here right there just pick that one and if it's too tight you can always use a smaller needle just to pick up the stitch but not to crochet because you don't want to use two, two different uh, sizes of the needle for the same uh, stuff unless and otherwise indicated so here 
I picked up that one. So you can pick up this red one too, okay? So it's not gonna show up later because we, if we block this side, it's not gonna show up. So it's, it's okay. So here. Okay, right there. See it? So I picked up the red one and this one. So just go ahead, just single crochet. Okay, and then chain, you turn. But uh, now I'm not going to uh, sew this other yeah, stitch because I think now you've seen how I do this stitch, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you how I do my, how I do my slip stitch on the edges. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show it to you. Okay, so all we have to do is just go in now don't go don't go don't go on the inverted v go in the space see this space this space this space the way you usually crochet on a single crochet so just go ahead and do that one so don't uh don't crochet in between the space but you can do it if you want to but it they, it won't make any difference but the only thing is like it's a little bit easier that way so and then it's faster so just to be lazy <laughs> being lazy so but it doesn't make any difference you can do it if you want but it's not for any reason that I'm not doing it so just go ahead go ahead and actually let me try to make them a little bit loose because making them too tight it's gonna give me a hard time to pick up the stitches so try don't make them tight just make them loose but when you do the second round it's gonna make them a little bit tight so so don't worry about the looseness but not too loose and not too tight see just enough okay if you think you're gonna make them a little bit tight or you won't be able to adjust using your judgment just use a bigger needle you can go ahead and use a size six millimeters needle and then you do this lip stitch on the first row and then the second row you can use the five millimeters so it's up to you but don't use a smaller needle for this unless you are decreasing so you see so just go ahead and do that oops this is slightly tight Just slip stitch all the way to the end and as you see I'm picking this both of these stitches I'm not picking one okay but sometimes uh, depending on how many times or how rows how you want it to appear you can use only one uh, one of the loops like instead of using both stitches you can both of the loops you can use only maybe a, a front loop or a back loop but I will show you when to use it you don't use it either way like right now you you don't need to use it uh, let's see that way all the way And then right here on the corner again do the same thing go go right here go to the top one right here right here and just go ahead and pick up the two stitches at the edge and then slip stitch them okay right there right there all right see this is how it looks like with the two stitches yeah with the two rows of slip stitch okay so I'm going to go ahead and do this like I'm doing the F again so you can see uh, how I'm going to do it. Like see, now when you go down here, just go ahead all the way around. So don't worry about making the corner, but don't make them too tight. You don't need to uh, make four stitches on a corner or two stitches. Just go ahead and crochet around. It doesn't matter like but don't make it too tight if you make it too tight it's gonna squash your corners so just see okay right here pick up the this area like you know pick up right there 
you see that's why i was i like to use the uh, single crochet on the edges because you see it makes this area easy for me to slip stitch and then this right here the next the second stitch i pick it up from this corner again slightly inverted see right here you pick up right there pick up right here this one so as you can see it's like it, it's not making too many stitches if i used the extended single crochet it makes more stitches so all you do is right here there is the one gap right here just go ahead single crochet no slip stitch on that gap and then the second stitch you pick it from these two corners right here like the one we were doing at the front see right here it's like slightly inverted to the other side so just go ahead and pick up the two stitches and then the next one go to that there is like a slightly like a small hole that it makes around there and then the second one you pick up from there so by doing that you're not gonna add any more stitches on your side but sometimes you may add a slightly depending on how you did it but if you do a single crochet at the end you wouldn't have that problem of getting extra stitches so Okay, so right there, right there, okay, see, so at the end, this is how it looks like up here, so now here, you can chain, or usually what I do sometimes, I just put it that way and turn, but not, I would like to show you that when you do this, look, look how it looks it looks like a busting stitch right here see it looks like a busting stitch so don't be scared of this so all you need to do now is when we crochet because we don't want this red this red area to be showing you see this red area we don't want it to be showing eventually we want it to be closed off completely so what we need to do right now is you just go ahead you just go ahead pick up the busting stitch that's what you're gonna single uh that's what you're gonna slip stitch see this busting stitch so what i'm gonna do um it, they may be too tight to pick up let me show you how sometimes i pick them up i'm just gonna show you like how i pick it up mm, i pick up those stitches so you can use a smaller size needle or gauge needle so all you have to do i picked up the that one but you know you can use a, a smaller one than that so all you need to do is just pull it up like that see it, it helps you to pull them up but don't use this one because if you use this one you are again it's not gonna look even it's gonna look like a, a skirt or something it's, it's not gonna look right so just go ahead use this same needle and then slip stitch it's too it's too sluggish right here. Gotta pull it down. Slip stitch, okay? Same thing. See right here? Make sure you pick up these stitches. The the busting. It's like it looks like a busting stitch. Make sure you pick them up. So don't worry how they look, they're gonna look neat after you finish it. So don't worry about the way they look like they don't look too nice they look like a little bit crooked but don't worry about that they're gonna straighten up once you do the slip stitch so that's why i like the slip stitch i like the stitches slip stitch and extended single crochet my favorite i don't use another stitch uh, okay so like that So if you don't do it too tight, you wouldn't have a problem picking up with your the, the needle that you're using. But if you do them too tight, you're going to have a problem picking it up. So that's when you're going to use the smaller size needle to pick the other ones up. Or sometimes, you know, like this one, you see it's kind of too all the way, like so down. You can, I can't be able to pull it up with this thick needle. So you can just go ahead and pick it up like that and then, you know, use this needle like that like that and then make sure don't do it too tight so 
you'll be fine if you don't do it too tight but you do it too tight you're gonna be struggling to pick up all the stitches all right so you see okay now you see when this this red is showing here we i don't know sometimes you may like it for decorative purposes but personally i don't want it there i just want to get rid of this part i'm gonna show you how to do it so let me go ahead and do my third row usually on my slip stitch at the edges i do three rows and if i have a row like this one i do my slip stitch four rows four rows see that one i have when i get this one i do four rows but most of the time i do three rows three rows should be enough to fix all that so this one this one looks okay but if you have to do the other row so all you need to do is there is this extra <coughs> there is this extra what do i call it extra loops if you look so clearly and the reason why i like you to use that one you can use the top part of these stitches you can use the this outer loop right here right here you can use this one this one okay if you so want to right here you can use this one there is no big deal about it you can still use that one but if it becomes too thick and it wouldn't stay flat it wouldn't stay flat like it's kind of uh, staying upright and you want it down flat. You come and use these stitches. There are these extra stitches right here. I don't know whether you see them. See that? See that one? See that one? That one right here. You see? I don't know whether you guys see it. This one right here. This one will make it lay down flat. Okay, if you do, especially when you do four to five rows of slip stitch, if you do four to five rows, it will stand a little bit like it will come extending outward and you don't want it like that. You want it to lay flat. So if you want it to lay flat, just, just take a minute or just, it will take more time, but just go ahead and pick these stitches right here, right here. See that one? This one. Pick, pick them up, all this, and then crochet right there so for now because it's not it's still it's still okay and it's so flat let me just show you how to do that one i'm gonna show you like i'm gonna show you how to do it on this one the one that you wanna want it to lay flat right here see right here right there see right there just you pick them up and then you go all the way to the corner or all the way to the end you see it, you see how it looks looks so neat very nice and neat see very nice and neat right there so nice and neat 